friends, it's Natalie here. It's a really lovely sunny winter's day here in Australia and so I thought it would be a great opportunity to get out my praise book and journal some thoughts into it. Um, today I'm going to be journaling um, a combination of some sermon notes and some of my own um, sort of thoughts and response to that and I'm using a lot of the um, printables. I use the printables a real a real lot. <laughs> Sorry, it's not very good English. Um, I use the the printables a lot. I think they're really versatile. I think you you know there's so many available in the shop that you can get a different look every time you're doing a different page. And so this time around, I'm using um, some of the printables that are called God's Direction, and they're in the Illustrated Faith Shop. I've printed off. Uh, this is just like, you know, so gorgeous and I just wanted to use it just as it is, which is exactly how it's supposed to be used. Um, you know, you could print it off really big and make it a print on your wall, um, but I've just printed it off onto my plain old printing paper and I am using that as sort of the um, decoration, the facing page there. And I think I'm just going to stick it in with a bit of washi tape. I'm putting it, it's on um, the transparent pages that come as inserts into this book. Whoops. So um, quickly and easily, I'm just going to stick this in here. Nothing fancy about that. Now I've also printed off some of the other um, bits and pieces that come in that set. I've printed off some of the mountains and some of the trees and one of the little tabs and I've only printed off those because I think that's all I'm going to be using right now but of course it comes in a set with a whole bunch of other stuff. Now on this page clearly this is where I'm going to be doing all of my journaling but I wanted to put some background colour down first so I've got my Bible mat underneath that page and in fact, you know what? I might even just take this page out and put this to one side and just paint directly on here. Um, and I've got all of the acrylic paints and I've got no plan in mind, right? No plan. Um, I just think I'm going to be doing a combination of using a paintbrush and using these paint chips as well and just getting some color on there and I'm thinking I definitely like this color this is one of my favorites <laughs> Judah agrees um, the, you know the best thing about these paints is that you really just don't need a lot of it to get the color on there so you could see how you know smaller dollop I used um, and how far that has gone already. Um, next I want to use this one, oops, squirted out a bit too fast. All right, we're going to have lots of yellow. Oops. All right. Now, probably I've still got heaps left that I'm not going to use at the moment, so I'm just going to wipe it off onto a napkin, move on to my next color. Um, I've snuck in a different color yellow. This is clearly not from, oh, it's not even open, and I don't have a thing to open it. So anyway, we won't be using that right now. <laughs> um, maybe some of the orange. We just want the smallest little bit of this because this one's really bright and I still want to be able to you know write all over this and have it be very sort of legible and readable so this is another reason why like this method of scraping it on um, leaves it really sheer so you'll definitely be able to read what I've got on top of it when I get to that and last one this gorgeous gorgeous pink color And I'm just going to put this all in the gaps. So that's like the background colour. Now, you know, to get 
a little bit more fancy if you like I'm going to try and do what I now sort of refer to as Shana's technique of dots so I'm just using the ah oh, see I didn't even end up using my paintbrush I got it out with the purpose of using it but now I'm using the other end of it so I guess it was useful <laughs> just to make a bunch of different dots because I think you know like color I'm all about the color clearly I'm all about lots of bright colors but the next thing that I think is fabulous is about having um, like texture or patterns um, you know something that just adds and the next degree of interest <laughs> Once again, Judah agrees. So, no plan, as I said. And I'm probably just going to leave it like that at the moment. But you could go as crazy as you want. But I just want to move on and start getting the next part of it down. So, um, it is going to be sort of quick and easy page nah, I won't risk putting that anywhere else yet until that dries off a bit more um, and so that you know the beauty of using these printables so I've printed these off I've cut them out and then I'm literally just gonna stick them on which means I don't have to get fancy and draw them myself because that is not what I am gifted in doing I am not an illustrator so this does that work for me right now I've printed off these mountains in um, just slightly different sizes and I'm just using double-sided tape to stick them in and they're just going to overlap a little bit and yes now it's going to cover up a lot of those dots but that's okay this is what you get when you don't pre-plan anything, right? <laughs> uh, put some trees behind here. And one more set of trees in this little gap here. And then, so when I cut out my tab, I've just left a little bit of white extra paper down the bottom and that's so that I can um, stick some washi tape down there as well and not have to cover up all of the uh, you know decorations on it oh it's not long enough hang on I want a bit longer and so if I use this pink washi tape it's going to sort of tie it in to the opposite page so that it looks quite cohesive um, and now so next I want to add in a title um, my title for the notes that I'm going to make and it will make sense after I've written the, the, all of the words uh, is going to be the power of disbelief so I want to choose different colors like I got all my letter stickers out and I'm going to choose some colors um, that will go so I want power to be in this green and you know what I'll probably just fast forward this part because all I'm gonna do is stick down these letter stickers at the moment okay go all of the letters are on I'm covered in paint now um, and if you were wondering what I was doing with that funny arrangement of how why I put my letters on in that order it's because I was trying to get the um, word to be fairly centralized on my page and so I um, started with the E because that's the middle um, letter of the word um, and then sort of work either way of that and then wanted just to make sure that it would actually fit before I stuck it all down 
Um, now these dots are still a little bit wet, but the rest of it's not. Um, what I definitely will need to do is outline um, all of these letter stickers so that they stand out a lot more so that you can read them. Um, and then I'm gonna write my journaling here. Um, and then it will go into my praise book. I'll just show you how it's gonna end up looking. Just like this. And so I'll probably then stick maybe um, a little bit more decorations. You know, um, I tend to stick on you know, the enamel hearts at the end because they're bunches of fun. In fact, let's stick some of these on now. And because of course they're all in the same colors um, as the paint, it makes it really easy to uh, look cohesive, which is great. And I'm not shy with my heart, stick them all on I say. All right, so that's about all I'm gonna do. As I said, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll fill out the rest of these things. But how quick and easy and fun um, is this page? And now because it's on the transparency, I've even got room to journal even more stuff on the back here. So I'll get to that on another occasion, I'm sure. Um, thanks guys for joining with me and hope that you can have a bunch of fun um, using some of these techniques or just journaling in the way that you feel comfortable doing because that's what it's all about. Judah and me say bye. Bye.